Hey beautiful people, it's Rakeen, I'm back with another video. So on this video, I wanna answer this question that I actually seen on my YouTube channel. So somebody left a comment on the Capital One Platinum Secure Credit Card video. They said, I am beyond frustrated, I'm well confused with this card and I've been looking for different videos to answer their questions. So let me just sum it up because it's a lot um, on here. So basically they got a $200 secure credit card. They put that deposit down on their credit card. Um, and they're saying they're, they're not sure what's supposed to happen. So we're going to go over after you put their deposit down on it, like what's going to happen with it. And then also they said out of $200, um, they made a $50 purchase. So they spent the $50 on it. And then now they have a remaining credit line of $150. So they saying like at this point, what are they waiting to do? Like they're lost. Like, <laughs> am I waiting on my payment day to pay the $50 back that I spent? Because I don't have one yet. Somebody help me. So I see this. I'm like, let me answer this one because they're going to definitely need this. And I just remember to not knowing much. And I swear it's just a key, a few things that we need to learn and then we'll have it. So let me say this. Um, with all secure credit cards, secure means that you have to put money down on it. Um, so when you put money down on your credit cards, then that's what your credit limit is going to be you're not going to get that money back until you close your account for some cards but some cards like the capital one platinum credit card this one actually graduates to an unsecured credit card so they may tell you to go ahead and put down 200 dollars, or they may say 49 dollars or 99 dollars, and then they'll send you a 200 dollars credit card so this one usually after six months they say in little as six months, after six months of making your payments on time, so make sure you put your credit card on auto pay, six months of paying your um, credit card off on time, then they'll make it unsecured, which means they'll send your $200 back and then they'll increase your limit. So I just did a video of somebody else saying that theirs um, went from $300 and then it ended up going all the way up to $3,000. That's just making sure that you're paying it off on time. So that's why I said put it on auto pay, okay? And that should happen like around the six, seven, eight month mark. Now, when you have your credit card, a credit card, it has a limit on how much you can spend. When you spend that money, whatever you spend on it, like in your case, you spent $50 on it. I'm going to kind of talk to the person that's here, too. I thought it'd be easier. So in that, your case, you spent $50 on your credit card. You have a $200 limit. Um, that means that you still got $150 to spend. You are going to get a due date. Don't panic about that. <laughs> You're going to get a due date. And once it's due, um, you should go ahead and make sure you pay it a few days before your due date or make sure you have it set up on auto pay. And I like um, my auto pay. I like for all of my credit cards to be paid a few days in advance um, just so I can confirm that the payment is made. Because one of my biggest things was just making sure I pay certain bills on time. That's where I messed up at. So I like to pay mine a few days ahead of time. You can pay yours on your due date and they may not tell you to pay the full $50. They may say just pay $25. But if you do that, they're going to charge you interest, which means they're going to make money off of you, which I always tell people to pay your, whatever they say your balance is, which is going to be $50, pay that by your due date. But they're going to give you a due date on um, that credit card. But you can continue to use your credit card um, freely if you choose to really make sure it gets um, it get increased. You could technically, and listen to this care carefully, you can te te technically spend a whole $200 on it. You can. And then you can pay it off. You don't have to wait till your due date to pay it off either. You can pay it off right now if you wanted to. You don't have to have a due date. You can pay your credit card. You can use it. Wait till your um, your purchase to post. They had to post. Usually it take two days for purchases to post. They're usually be pending. Once they post, you can pay it off right then and there. A lot of people do that just so that the credit card companies can see that they need a higher limit. So they'll use the $200. And say it's the fifth, their bill is not due until the 24th. They'll use the $200 and they'll pay it back off on the 7th because that's when it's going to post. They'll pay it back off and then they'll turn around and use the $200 again. They'll just make sure that they use that credit card for all of their bills. Like they have to pay a bill, they will just use a debit card. They'll use their credit card and then pay it right off. So you have to just make sure you pay it by the due date. Now, say in this case, that person where we talked about, they they used it, paid it off, used it, paid it off. When you pay it off, you technically paying that minimum balance. So if you don't have, so if you were to use it again before your due date and you have a, a $200 um, 
balance on your credit card again you technically already pay the minimum balance which is what they're going to request like this probably 25 dollars. you already paid that so you technically don't have to pay anymore you can just let that balance sit on there you don't have to use your credit card again I mean, you don't have to pay it again. So just keep that in mind that you could use your credit card. You can pay it off. You only have to pay your credit card once per month. Technically, you're going to have one due date per month and they're going to try to get you just to pay the minimum. I suggest you pay whatever your balance is. I suggest you pay that balance um, every month. That would be my suggestion my suggestion that way that they don't charge you interest at all and then some of these credit cards will give you rewards so this credit card don't necessarily give you rewards but say if you were to get like the discover is secure they're going to give you two percent back so you know you may get twenty dollars in rewards for you know using this credit card but if you pay an interest on it because you're not paying your balance in full um, you really putting at twenty dollars and giving it back to them. It's not extra for you. So I usually tell people to make sure that they're paying their savings balance in full. So if you want to make sure that this graduate, just make sure that you have it on auto pay, which is one of the key things for you. Just make sure you have it on auto pay and don't spend more than you can pay back. Um, because say with your credit card with Capital One, you have a two hundred dollar limit. So you really don't want to. Um, let them report to the credit bureaus, which is, um, say, on your due date. Once you pay that, they're going to create a statement for you in a few days. And your statement is going to show your new due date and your new balance. And whatever your balance was at that time when your statement come out, they're going to re report that to the credit bureaus. You really don't want them to report for this credit card more than $10 because that would be a five, that would be 5% of the credit card. If you, if you let them report um, too high of a balance, it looks like you're, you've are you been maxing out your credit card and you're like desperate for money. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like because they want to show um, every time they report to the credit bureau, you want to show that it's a very, very low balance and that you can manage credit without using too much. So just make sure that you keep your balance low on this credit card. And I think that you'll be fine. Don't forget that auto pay is going to be very, very important. So whenever that due date is, it's going to be automatically paid and put it a few days before your due date. Again, you can go in here, pay it at any time. Um, you don't have to wait to your due date. You can pay it early if you want to. You don't have any annual fees where you have to pay a certain amount every year. Some credit cards do, but with this one, you don't. You should get your money back in about six to eight months. Just make sure that you're paying it on time and you're trying to keep the balance low on those statements. That's really the key. And then it's a lot of other credit card companies going to offer you more credit. And when they offer you more credit, you can decide if you want to get that credit card and then you'll apply the same thing with that one. You just want to make sure that you do not have a high balance reporting um, to the credit bureaus. Um, so don't have a high balance left over left over on your due date because anything that's left over that you did not pay is going to get reported to the credit bureaus. And then it's going to make it harder for you to get other credit cards or even for this one to possibly graduate. So that's kind of how it works. And you can see right here, you just make your deposit, deposit more, and then you can raise your limit up to um, $1,000. So that's good. And then using this card um, responsibly is going to be an unsecured credit card. But I hope this helps. Um, I think that's kind of like more uh, the basic information when it comes out to these credit cards. Let me know if you have any questions. We can get on a call and you can like pick my brain about a few things. But um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and drop your questions down below.